Hey guys, welcome back. And in this tutorial, we're going to quickly learn about displaying multiple variables, or uh, well, I should say multiple values of the variables that we're going to establish here. So what we're going to do is establish a new variable, and let's just uh, let's just follow the ranks of the Jedi. So we're going to start with like the younglings, and establish a new integer there. We're going to we're going to declare maybe another one. That's the Padawans. And well, we'll just stick with those for now. But uh, there's a couple different ways we could write this. Since we are only using integers, um, we could just display it as Padawan and Jedi Master. So this would give us the same result. Or we could have them on their own lines, de depending on what you're going to do. So I just want to show you, you could have them on multiple lines or you can have them all within one line as long as they are the same type of variable the, in this case an integer so we're gonna go ahead and process that so we've declared our three variables now we're gonna assign some values to them so younglings we'll set that equal to uh, 15 uh, Padawan we'll set that equal to 25 and of course, well, what's happening there? Semicolon at the end. And of course, we've got the Jedi Master at 100. Now, we could have a Grand Master and all that stuff. We'll get into that later. But uh, now we've got three different variables um, declared, and we've assigned values to them. Now, in this case, we're just going to click F6. We're going to run our program. And you see that we only are still only displaying the Jedi Master, which is over here. Now let's say if I want to put uh, put uh, something like younglings equal percent i comma padawan equals percent i and Jedi Master We'll take out this status just to keep it uh, the same there. Equals percent i line break. All right, so we've got basically three placeholders for our integer values that we've already established. Now, if we run this as of now, let's just go ahead and run it. You'll see what we get is younglings, youngling, uh, younglings, younglings equals one hundred. Okay, well that's the Jedi Master equivalent. Padawan equals what in the world and Jedi Master is all screwed up as well that's because we haven't actually told these um, these placeholders what value or what argument they're supposed to be assigned to so right now what our printf function is looking for is it looks down the line it sees this percent symbol and it says hey okay there's something I've got to pull from an argument proceeding and then this I tells it what uh, what type of variable it is it's an integer and so it comes across this one and it says, hey, percent i. Okay, I've got to look at the next argument within the statement here, within the uh, parameters, and it's pulling the Jedi Master. So that's what we pulled. So instead of Jedi Master, we're going to change that to younglings. And then we come across the next one, which is the Padawan, percent i. Again, it's referencing the second argument down here. So we got younglings. We're going to put in Padawans and put a comma and then you'll see that the last the last percent I is referencing the last argument or the third in association so it's going to reference this Jedi Master here which is equivalent so now we're going to run our program you'll see that we've got younglings equal 15 Padawan equals 25 and Jedi Masters equals 100 all right so that's how you display multiple variables and value in their values within a, a simple printf function there so we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial